Okay, in today's video about quant, I want to check out this move down right in here and tell you why I believe there is a decent chance that this thing is not actually going to last long and it might be just the coming phase before another huge use phase of the uptrend. And I'm going to show the evidence to you for why this might be the case. So with that said, hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're having a great time with your family and loved ones. And if you remember, the last time that we talked about q and I believe we were somewhere around these areas and we said, look, in terms of classic technical analysis, meaning support and resistances, we are having a very important resistance area in here, which is from daily and weekly time frame at the same time. And when we were around these areas, we were saying, look, because it seems like that we are getting a break of this region, makes sense for our move up to continue to where? Well, to the next important area all the way up here and by the first time that we touch it makes perfect sense to get some sort of a rejection or a reaction from it and in the previous video specifically i said look this move down right in here might take a bit of time however we do not need to be worried about q and t at all and i still absolutely stand by that and now because we have more price action development in this area, I'm going to show some evidence to you that suggests the bullish scenario is still absolutely in play. Now, I want to be very clear. This move on the upside, it doesn't really look that strong. So in the short term in q &T, we might get some more moves on the downside, something like this. But again, this is going to be, in my opinion, just part of the bullish process. Why is that? I have a couple of reasons for it. Number one, this whole move on the downside starting from the highest side in this region around $108 is actually quite weak. Let's just measure it and see how long did it take for us to have this move. As you can see, around 400 candlesticks. On the other hand, this move up right in here happened in about 100 candlesticks. So what's the message? You see, despite having way, way more than enough time, it seems to me at least like the bears absolutely failed to pull the price all the way back down here to these levels. And this suggests most likely bulls do still have the upper hand and soon we might get some more moves on the outside. Now, here's a question. In terms of Elliot's waves, what is a very important characteristic of a corrective movement? You know it being very slow and choppy, something like this. So we do actually have another reason to believe this move down is a correction structure. Do we have some more evidence? Yes, let's just do this. Okay, you see, in case that you are a new viewer, and I know a lot of you guys are, because these days, every single time that I make new videos, I get a bunch of new viewers and subs, I need to tell you, in my analysis, I use a lot of Elios waves. And if you want to argue, for example, we're going to have our final button somewhere around here. Maybe this is like a very important support. Then, okay, you need to be able to find off of the lowest low in this region, a one, two, three, four, five wave impulsive structure. Now, this specific example is a normal five wave. The rules for it are we shouldn't have overlapping of the waves between wave two and four and in any kind of impulsive structure wave three right in here should not be the smallest wave and in terms of the sub waves you know it if you are a regular viewer we need to have five wave up into wave one three and five let's just do this there we go and for wave two and four we can have different scenarios doesn't really matter let's say yeah an a b c into four and sure a w x y structure into wave 4 so let's have a quick conclusion if you want to argue that the bottom is in on any chart you need to be able to find off of the lowest level of it something like this a five wave on the upside and here's a very important point the exact opposite goes for the tops meaning if you want to argue that our move up is actually over and we are going to start a huge huge downtrend then okay you need to be able to find off of the highest side in any chart a one two three four five wave this time on the downside and the sub waves are actually pretty much the same understood okay let's go on the live chart and see what is happening 
let's do an analysis in this area by what I call it the process of elimination. Meaning, let's say I am actually wrong and this thing right in here is actually the beginning of a new downtrend. Then, okay, off of the highest high in this region, I need to be able to find an impulsive structure on the downside. And the problem is there is a very, very high chance that we are actually dealing with an A, B, C zigzag and not an impulsive movement. And this is, in my opinion, another very important sign that suggests the bearish scenario most likely in here is actually not in play and overall we are dealing with some sort of a correction for example i can tell you well okay maybe we are going to have abc in here and this can be also another a correction for B, and we can have another move down into our c leg and overall on a higher degree we may have a w x y in form of a double zigzag and after this is over we can expect another huge huge move on the upside in q and t in this phase i'm expecting quant to get a solid break of this very important resistance area this time and maybe we're gonna get a candle close above here and then have a pullback and followed by that a continuation of the move up in order to take this side and because above here the road on the upside is actually a bit more clear than before we can actually continue our move up at quite a bit of a rapid pace and hopefully more consistently now do we have some other evidence that supports this scenario that suggests this move down right in here is going to come to an end soon the answer is actually yes and that comes down to elliot waves on some higher degrees you see in my opinion there's a very high chance this point about 53 bucks is actually our final but why is that because off of it as you can see we are having a one two three four five wave up with all the sub waves and when we got this thing we talked about it back then we said look there's a good chance the bottom is in on quant and this move down might be a correction a structure and exactly around this area i said look this might actually be a bullish setup and we may see a big move up soon and here is the situation on a higher degree i don't believe that our move up is actually over i can tell you look this is this red one a five wave up this orange one is also another five wave on the upside and on a higher degree this is one two big move up into wave three and this can be a correction structure for four right in here and what are we going to have after our wave four is over well probably another big move up into wave five now in terms of the sub waves in here i'm willing to argue that maybe this is a one two and then we're gonna see soon a big move up into wave three four five in order to complete the sub waves for this red wave five in here and believe it or not this is actually the least optimistic scenario I can show you some other possibilities that suggest we are from here going to go to the moon in QNT, but I do not want us to get our hopes up that much. Let's see the absolute 100% signs for those scenarios, and then at that point, I'm going to talk about it. However, for now, let's just stay on the ground and say it seems like that soon after this correction in QNT is over, we are going to get another big move on the upside and in that phase i'm hoping that we're going to get a break of this region so let's have our final conclusion and wrap up today's video about quant we are having in my opinion a lot of evidence that suggests this move down is not going to last long and after it's over we're going to get some big moves on the upside the first sign was the fact that this thing is actually quite slow which is a characteristic of a correction structure. Second sign came down to, if you remember earlier, we said that this move down right in here, and the fact that there's a very high chance is actually an ABC and not a five wave impulsive structure. And the final sign was also in terms of Elliott waves on some higher degrees, which suggested that we are at the moment on our way to complete the sub waves for this red five wave up. And according to this scenario, seems like our move up wants to continue for quite a bit so for now i believe everything in qnt looks absolutely 100 fantastic and bullish and here's the situation even if we get a move down and in that move we take this slow right here even at that point i'm not going to change my mind about quant being bullish i'm just going to change the position of some waves in here 
and even at that point i'm going to tell you we are going to have a big move up so because of these reasons i am extremely extremely optimistic for now so i hope i explain everything well and you understood what is going on in quant's price chart anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto or maybe you want to learn some decent TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets you can become a member and ask me anything you want and until the next video i hope you have a wonderful time with your family and loved ones goodbye